Last year I was like, dude, like, I don't know how many more years of CODs like this I can take. I think if Seth would have like quit Call of Duty, he'd be five times as big as Agreed. he is now. Is Scumpy hinting at a future Call of Duty retirement? It is on his mind that retirement is just around the corner of Amy. This isn't the first time that we've heard Scump talk about retirement, but in fact, the third time in three titles and what it would take for him to move on. How much time do you think you have? My name is Seth Scumpy Abner. I have been competing in Call of Duty since... I can't even remember. 2011 Major League Gaming, Dallas Champions, and Call of Duty Black Ops. Let's hear it for leverage, y'all. Make some noise. I played a lot of game battles and stuff like that because that was really the only way to do it at that point. What's the record? Do you know? But ever since then, I've been a competitive Call of Duty player, CDL Pro, live streamer. I stream a lot. I do a lot of content. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the stream. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Optic Scumpy. I really, I really am a jack of all trades. I do a little bit of, of everything on top of competing, which is... Uh, it gets a little bit stressful sometimes. Yeah, and I'm getting hypey in this movie trick. Yeah, my life should be on Cinemax, and I like to eat sacks. <laughs> yeah, he's like some potatoes, but I can't fuck with the red one or tomatoes. Yeah. Oh my God, we're coming back with a beat. So really, back then it was just straight passion. I got him. He's gonna run out for it. He's going out for it. He's gonna get it. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you guys! Oh. Holy shit, ball, baby! Yes! yes. <laughs> How you would have expected shit to go? Oh, oh, Scott, run it out. They'll close it out without dropping a player. Scumpy fired up. Set, baby, let's go, bro! Nowadays, there's a lot of money involved, so it attracts a lot of people that maybe aren't even gamers and they just want to live stream or become a pro just because they know how much money is in it now. But back then it was like the real, you know, the real gamer. <laughs> Someone's giving up? <laughs> I'm doing all of them. <laughs> Telling somebody who's as good as he is at, in the space that he's in to, you know, folks around content was a little bit tougher. You know, it's, it's easier for people who aren't as good as him to be like, you know, you should also concentrate on that, right? But uh, I'm, I'm glad that he did. The the trajectory was always there. Obviously, him pairing up with, with Nate in the early days, the same way that Nate paired up with Predator in the early days, uh, sort of made that 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 fire sort of become a, a bigger situation for, for himself. Um, but seeing him develop himself into, you know, first the player, then obviously the brand, and then the, the businessman that he's, that he's become, uh, has been a pleasure to see. He's becoming sort of like the model that, that you sort of follow as a professional Call of Duty player, as a professional esports player. Being around Nate and, I mean, Will, Merck, you know, Cap was there for a bit, but I mean, it was really, it was really Nate shot and Hector. I mean, they, they really like drove it into my head that like, you're not always gonna be able to compete. So set yourself up for success after competing by making content. Bringing you another video log from inside of the Optic Gaming 2013 team house. Everybody's here now. Bah, bah. We've seen a lot of people retire and they'll go to do like coaching or something behind the scenes or stuff like that. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna either be a competitor or a content creator. They just taught me that if you wanna do something forever, then you have, you have to obviously keep working towards that goal and keep putting stuff out for people you know, to enjoy. People wanna see like you every day. You know, They wanna see you on camera. They wanna see what your, what your mental state is like. They wanna see if you're having a good day or a bad day. You know, people like to see that kind of stuff. And I think, you know, I think we do a pretty good job of that. But again, you know, it's, it's never enough. But I try. How, how do you manage the stress of being the superstar that you are? I mean, it's fucking hard. <laughs> One of the hardest things for me is when people say you don't do enough and that really irks me. Trying to please everyone is definitely something that I struggle with.
it's a lot, you know, even day, I mean, we were just saying, even days off, we still did six hours of road tripping slash content, and that was considered my day off. You know, so I was like, it's very few and far between where you get a full relaxation day of just not worrying about anything. I mean, so it's, it's definitely really, really hard. I don't think people understand that, you know, what I do personally, not to like brag or anything, like nobody else does in esports stream consistently, upload to YouTube consistently. I mean, in most other esports, it's just competing and that's like it. And it's really, really, really hard to balance it. That's one of, that's one of the hardest things that I deal with is like never thinking that I do enough. It is, my girlfriend is always like, you work today, like, why are you worried? Because I'm always like, I didn't do enough today. I didn't do enough. And she's like, but you just went and filmed three hours and drove three hours as well. Like you just did all that. I'm like, well, still, like, I want to, you know, give people what they want and what they expect, but at the same time, you know, I have a lot of other things that are going on in my life, so it's it's difficult. It's definitely hard. I mean, even days that we practice off stream, I'll get on stream and only stream for three hours, and people are like, what the fuck, that's it? And it's like, dude, we just screamed for three and a half hours. Like, I'm exhausted, you know, so. And then we had content before that. So it's like, people just don't see what goes on behind the scenes. It's definitely been hard for me to keep my passion as high as it was during certain years. You know, I've had rough years. I've had years where I haven't been in the best mental state. You know, it's it's always evolving. And as I've gotten older, it's kind of, it's it's been, it's just been ever changing as I've gotten older and older and older. Because once you get older, obviously you, you start to have more responsibilities. You definitely have a different perspective of life. I mean, when I was 18, I was living for free at the Optic House and just making content with my friends. Now it's like, I live in my house, I have a girlfriend, uh, I mean, I have all the animals, all the pets, and I, I have a house now. So it's like, you know, there's a lot more day to day that I have to worry about than just sitting down and competing. So there's a lot more stress involved now when it was just, you know, playing the game back then. Now it's like, now I have to perform to ensure that I can keep living, you know, and, ensuring that I can keep living the lifestyle that I live. He is like the literal example of being somebody who is uber successful in a space and could grab, you know, take chips off the table and go play in the sand somewhere. But because of the way that he was raised, the way that, that his mom sort of brought him up to never take anything for granted has allowed him to do and be more than just a, a dude that sits down and plays video games and makes a lot of money. He could take his, all his chips right now and take them off the table and go play in the sand. But for him, I think that winning is is important and that is the legacy that he'll leave behind. Sort of an example, a North Star for other, you know, professional players who are coming in to the space and, and sort of being successful in it. But there's a way to really be successful in it, right? Because there's, there's levels to this thing. I just want to do my best and try to just play as long as I can because I still do enjoy it. And the minute that that flame goes out, you know, it, it, that's it. When it goes out, it's gonna be like instant. It's gonna be like at the end of a year, probably, is what I would say is when I'm not gonna retire mid-year. I mean, unless shit just goes way south and it's like, you know, unless it's just like I, I have to, like I start dropping point fives at tournaments and shit, but hopefully that's not how it ends. The thing that's most important to me is that I gave my all. I was professional. I showed up on time. I put my, obviously every day you're not going to put your best foot forward in practice, but at least trying to be there for the team and continue to contribute, you know, as best as I can. Win or lose, you know, we're going to win some, we're going to lose some. That's just how it is. I just want to do my best. And the minute that that flame goes out, you know, it, that's it. All right, let's fucking get it. Right, let's get it. Yeah. Let's fucking get it, Bill. Let's get him out. Yeah. 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 I back. Y'all got need you? Yo, score, score, score. Score it in. I got in the back. in the back. Shit, boys. Easy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy as that, man. Get your voice. Optic Chicago. Coming into the kickoff classic. Coming into the 2021 season with a statement. as a 3-0 over the LA Thieves. If you enjoyed this video, the update, you know, leave a like, favorite if you really enjoyed it, comment. Yeah, there's Matt in the background. Comment, uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that stuff. Um, like, like I said, we appreciate all your support. As always, guys, this is your boy, Epic Scuffy. 
あーそうやはい。